guys. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about jealousy. Um, I have had people throughout the two and a half years that I've been doing this um, contact me and just kind of poured out their heart about jealousy, things that they were jealous about and just really struggling in that. And um, I think the majority of us have probably struggled with uh, jealousy in one way or another, just little maybe trigger points or maybe big time. And so I want to talk about that, like when you do feel that way, like what is it that you do that can help you to overcome that jealousy? Because I, in my personal life, have definitely had different trigger points that I get a little jealous about certain things, probably not what you think, but they, I definitely like have that tinge of jealousy. There's different degrees of jealousy, right? Like some of them you just kind of, you know, like push it out of your mind and it's fine and then you move on with life. There are things that you can dwell on and you can just like mull over in your head and just, you know, it, it kind of takes over in a sense. And that's kind of more what I'm talking about are those things when they take over. So um, the, the thing that I do whenever there is something, whether it's like impure thoughts or, you know, mean thoughts about people or just, just things like that, that can trigger like bigger sins. Um, first of all, you want to pray. <laughs> that is the first thing you'll want to do like when you are feeling jealous about something or somebody or situation um, it could be somebody's house it could be um, somebody's lifestyle you know they always get to go on vacations or you know it could be their family or relationships whatever it is there's something that maybe triggers um it with certain people, you know, different, different emotions within us. And we can't help the way that God created us. Like things like that, like that's something that happens and how you deal with it, that is how you can grow in holiness. And so that's what I'm going to talk about today. For me, I'm actually not a very jealous person by nature. Um, I am actually one of those people who, you know, if somebody, you know, is, is succeeding or doing good, I'm usually like their biggest cheerleader. I want everyone to be happy. I love when people are happy. Like that brings me joy. Even if I had nothing to do with it, I just, I love being around happy people and I want people to be happy. And that's just naturally how I am. But there have been, I was thinking about it, there's been like maybe four or five times in my life that I can think of where I specifically struggled with the jealousy. And, you know, one of them actually had to do with a relationship. There was, um, uh, she was an acquaintance and she was in a relationship that I wish that I was in. And this was, this was a long time ago. Um, and it wasn't even necessarily I wanted to be dating that guy or anything like that but she seemed so happy you know and she just was in cloud nine all the time and I just like it kind of ate away at me and I didn't know how to deal with it at the time like I would say I dealt with it very poorly to be honest like um, maybe because it doesn't happen that often to me but when it does it's really embarrassing you know it's like one of those things that you don't want to admit you're in, you're jealous or anything like that and so this one uh, person, I I started being mean to her, you know, and she did nothing wrong. It's not like she was trying to make me jealous or anything. Like, I was just, you know, sad in my situation and saw her so happy. And, and unfortunately, I feel like I treated her badly, you know, and I think about that now and I just cringe that I that I dealt with it that way and I just, I feel very bad that I did do that, you know, and could actually even pinpoint that I was jealous because I didn't even want to admit it because like I said, like I felt so embarrassed that I was jealous of this girl because she was happy, you know, and stuff. So, um, so I, like I think that's the main thing is like you want to pinpoint it and then what you want to do, and this is going to sound very counterintuitive, but you're going to want to pray for that person and their happiness and that they um, grow closer to God through the joy that they're having right now or whatever it is, you know, that, that that's something that, um, that they will grow closer to God. And it's amazing because the other times in my life that I have struggled with that, I, I started doing that. 
and I noticed a big difference within me. Like it was something I didn't want to do because I didn't want them to be happier, but I started having grace and I started being happy for them. And that was my prayer, that they would grow closer to God and that they would be happy and you know, all of that. And that was my prayer that they would. And through that, I feel like it almost like triumphed over the sin, you know, because because um, envy is actually a deadly sin, envy. And it's a little different from jealousy, but they're kind of in the same camp, you know, a little bit. Because envy is not necessarily what what they have is what you want, but you just don't want them to be happy. You know, have you ever seen, there's a movie called The Count of Monte Cristo, and that's pretty much what it was. Like, um, there was this guy who had nothing. He physically, like, came from a poor family. He had nothing, um, and he was so happy all the time, and he had nothing. And then his friend, his friend, um, was very wealthy and always wanted what this other guy had, which he had, he literally had nothing. He was just happy. And this other guy was just so jealous of that. And so he ended up, the guy um, who had nothing, uh, proposed to this woman and really loved her and you know was just so happy and in love and so this other guy like who was always jealous of him I think he imprisoned him it's been a long time but when I think about jealousy I think about our envy I think about this story and um, imprisoned him and pretty much he took the woman as his wife, you know, like he wanted what that guy had, even though like that guy proposed with like, um, he didn't have enough money for a ring. So he proposed with like a string, you know, he's like, this is all I have. And she was madly in love with him. And it's a good story. I mean, it is about the ending isn't so good anyway. But the beginning is about that, you know, that envy. And envy is one of like the seven deadly sins. It is not good. And to be in that mode of just not wanting other people to be happy, to overcome that is to pray. To pray, to wish the good upon that person. And it might not come right away naturally where you're like um, so happy for them, but it will. It will come if you truly in your heart pray for that person and the good of that person. So charity, doing good, loving other people, even when we don't want to, that triumphs over sin. You know, so Satan can't really get in there if we are constantly giving and loving that person. So it's where we like, we take that, you know, envy or that um, jealousy and we just gnaw at it and we think, how can we destroy their life? How can we make their life worse? That is where sin seeps in and Satan and you know, all that ickiness. And that will never, ever go away. You know, even if you do destroy that person, you know, like their reputation or whatever it is, you will never be satisfied because the only thing that will satisfy our heart is God and doing what is good and holy. Um, and so I just want you to keep that in mind. So what to do. So it's funny because the the ways that, um, like I said, we all have our own little trigger points. And for me, my trigger point is actually, um, so I've always wanted a huge family, big family. I come from a family of 10 and I loved it. I really enjoyed, love all my siblings. They're amazing. Miss them dearly. Wish I lived near them. But I loved it and I always envisioned that. I always hoped to have a big family. And um, you know, at the beginning we struggled with infertility. And it's interesting because at the time, and I still have these friends, but I had friends that had a lot of children. Um, and so they would get pregnant and I could not help it but feel a little jealous, you know, like, oh my gosh, like you know, here I am, like, I was a faithful Catholic my whole life. We waited till we were married to have sex. Like, you know, I feel like I did all of my ducks in a row and here I am struggling with infertility. And here's my friend who just, you know, looks at her husband and gets pregnant, you know, and, um, and that was hard for me. It was hard for me to 
not be jealous of them and it's interesting because even today i have four children and if you know my story i've had four c-sections and um and i would love to have more but i don't know if that's god's will type of thing so so we're open and stuff but um god might say heather that's all i want you to have is four and I need to be okay with that because I still like when my friends who, you know, wouldn't anybody say, says that they're going to have another baby, a part of me is like, oh, like longs for that, you know, and um, just a tinge of like jealousy. But I, thankfully I overcome it very quick and I'm very happy for them. But, you know, I know some people, their trigger point is like people with big houses or great cars, you know, and that just has never been my thing. It's never been a materialistic thing. Um, I know a lot of people who have a lot of money and not a part of me is like jealous of anything that they have um, or cars. Like I have a minivan and I am I'm so happy like there's nothing more that I want you know like all it like that minivan gets me where I need and that's I love it you know and stuff so it is interesting because different people have different trigger points some of them are spiritual too like some people are called to be you know a nun and other people are jealous of that or you know vice versa marriage and you know so we're all so different is kind of the point but we can all conquer these envious thoughts or jealousy and um and i would just i would name it you know name it say okay i'm struggling with this you don't have to tell people you can if it's envy you definitely want to you know go to confession for it but um what you do with that is you conquer that sin you conquer it with love make sure you're loving that person and praying for them and um and when you see them you're kind to them and you're happy for them sometimes with jealousy and just being mad at people sometimes our emotions get the best of us and some of us can be very passive aggressive and that is not a holy trait that is not something that god loves <laughs> and that's what we should be doing at all time is doing what god loves and so please don't be passive aggressive either like we are called to love we are you know if you need to talk to somebody about something this is probably a whole nother video about being passive aggressive but that is not a holy trait we are called to holiness we are try we are called to live in differently than the world lives you know and stuff so i just encourage you do not be passive aggressive and be aware if you are every time that you are be aware of it and try to stomp it out by being good and holy and doing good for other people you know even if you have to fake it till you make it that's okay you know um we're not perfect but we strive to be, we strive to do what is good and holy and right, you know, and Mother Mary is our ultimate example of that. Like we want to be like Mother Mary and see the good and all of that in people and everybody. If I have those, you know, tinges of jealousy or whatever, then I know how to conquer it now. And life is so much better, you know, don't let it dwell within you because that is where you're gonna feel icky and just mad and annoyed and all of that. And um, if you've ever been on the other side of somebody being jealous, it's not fun. It's not a good feeling, you know, and, um, and I mean, don't strive to like make people jealous. Sometimes I think women do that where we're like, Oh, so and so I heard her say she wanted this car I'm gonna get this car cuz she I know she wants it sometimes as women and men maybe too but like sometimes we have that thought process and I encourage you to run from those thoughts if you have those thoughts about outfits to wear or you know whatever like we don't want other people to be jealous of us that is not good either we want them to love Christ and to enjoy um, like ha that they enjoy their life you know that's what we should strive and hope for that is saintly you know is to um, wish the good upon other people and just encourage them like in the goodness of God 
and stuff. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I um, I love you all so much. I hope that this video helps somebody out there. And until next time, I will see you all later. God bless. Bye.